so if you joined me live last night, you probably realized we were having some technical difficulties. There was a lot of them. So first of all, our internet was being really wonky. We ordered some new routers to try to fix that. And also, apparently, my iPhone was kind of dying. So I thought my speakers weren't working because uh, um, after finally getting some of the videos to post, I couldn't hear anything. But apparently, my speakers were working. The microphone was working. But there's a little part inside your phone that turns sound into digital message that then relays it, you know, to whoever you're talking to or to video and then vice versa coming in. So not only could I not do videos, hey Mary Ellen, how are you? Uh, not only could I not do videos, I couldn't make phone calls, I couldn't do FaceTime, so um, not being able to use my phone was kind of a big issue. So I had to get that looked into today and spent most of my day um, between the Apple Store and the AT&T Store and back to the Apple Store. But our issues are finally resolved. I have um, the same phone, but a new one, and it works now. And so that's just perfect. So um, that's all fixed, and hopefully your internet will be even better um, than usual once our new routers get here. We can have all those things fixed up. But if y'all were watching me, you probably didn't hear any of the recipes. So I actually have no idea if the people that joined me live could hear what I was saying or not. I know that the recording didn't come through and I ended up deleting those. But if you're live, I really don't know if you heard the recipe or not. So I thought I'd jump on and share it real quick. I did braised lamb yesterday and it was delicious. It was so tender um, and slow cooked, but it, um, we loved it and we'll, def we'll definitely do it again. James loved it too and he actually had leftovers tonight. So I did um, a braised lamb shoulder. I just um, had some lamb shoulder chops. I had about four of them. It was probably a little over one and a half pound of lamb shoulder chops. And I browned those um, on um, both sides, just one to two minutes per side, nothing, nothing crazy, over medium heat in my Dutch oven. Um, I just put a little olive oil in my Dutch oven, EBOO, and then I'd sprinkle the lamb chops with um, sea salt and ground pepper before browning those. And then I just layered all of those um, in the Dutch oven after browning each of them on both sides. And I poured in a little bit of um, a red wine. We had Pinot Noir on hand, but you could Pinot Noir on hand, but you could use whatever red wine you happen to have on hand. Merlot or Cat would work fine too, or a red blend. And uh, I didn't completely cover the lamb, just maybe about, you know, have, I probably put like half an inch of wine in there, so nothing crazy. Um, and then I sprinkled some herbs to prevent over the top, which is one of my favorite um, um, herb seasonings to use on lamb. In addition to your rosemary and thyme, you also get some margarine and savory and sage. It's a really great combination for lamb. And I set that in the oven on, for 225, and I did that for about two hours. So um, I usually try to roast meat um, when I'm slow cooking it in the oven about one hour per pound. So I had, I don't know, maybe 1.6, 1.7 pounds, I'm just guessing, probably at least 1.6, um, even though some of that was bone. And so I just kind of rounded up and um, did, um, did, did two hours for the, you know, one and a half plus pounds of meat. And that turned out perfect. It was so tender. It was literally falling off the bone. I just opened up the lid and it smelled so good and you could just see it was falling off the bone and it was just pull apart for it tender and um, which is perfect for my toddler. Just so easy to eat and it was really flavorful as well. So I'll um, post some pictures um, for, for, for y'all just kind of showing the finished product um, in the pot just all stewing together with the herbs and the red wine and I took a picture of it plated too since we had so many communication issues <laughs> yesterday. Um, but um, we did get a little bit done yesterday, so we, we got our tree up, as y'all can see, and mostly decorated. We just had a few filler ornaments to put in, which I didn't have a chance to do this afternoon because I was at the phone store all day. But we're getting festive around here, and James is, is enjoying that. He kind of ha he's been having fun with the lights and kind of just seeing everything light up. Um, but I hope y'all enjoyed the recipe and little tips, and um, that um, y'all's Christmas is getting off to a good start, and maybe not quite so crazy as ours. I feel like when and it rains, it pours. It wasn't just the foam, but we all, there was also um, a gas leak near church today, and so there was like a lot of traffic going to pick up James, and the carpool was closed. I had to go inside, and we I had so many other errands to run. It's just, it, it all comes at once, and I'm sure you know that. Um, after um, a long afternoon, um, back in, in the phone store with the toddler, um, I feel like we all deserve a little bit of rest, and so we're just enjoying some chill time this afternoon, but I hope... Um, um, y'all enjoyed the, 
the actual recipe since um, I didn't get to share it yesterday, and I'll yeah. post those, those pictures. If y'all have any questions or if I left something out, just message me, um, and I'd be happy to share. Y'all take care.